Hi boys and girls, it is Aunt Marge once again. Welcome to our online Sabbath School program. We are delighted that you could join us. Today we want to talk about something very, very important and it's found in the Bible in Ephesians chapter 6. Starting with verse 11, we want to talk about the armor of God. You know, a long time ago when there used to be wars and there would be hand-to-hand -hand combat, the soldiers that were fighting needed to have something to protect themselves from their head all the way down to their feet. And so Jesus compares putting on all of this protection to the spiritual protection that his people need every day. And the purpose is so we won't be deceived or caught by Satan's traps that he sets for us. So we wanna talk about that spiritual armor that God wants us to put on. These oranges are going to represent, and I have six of them, they're going to be representing the armor that we need. So first of all, it talks about putting on the belt of truth. So let's put on our belt of truth. And as you can see, the orange is floating. Now the second thing says, you need to put on Christ's righteousness, the breastplate of righteousness. So let's see if this one will float as well. It's floating as well. Our third piece of armor that we need to put on is the gospel of peace, the good news that Jesus loves each one of us. So let's see if that will stay afloat. Oh, so far, our armor is protecting us. We're staying afloat. That now we want to go on to faith. God says we need to put up a shield of faith. Well, the armor's holding up, keeping us on the, up on the top. And then to protect our minds, we need salvation, the helmet of salvation. So let's see if the helmet of salvation floats. Yes, it does. And then the last one that is mentioned is the sword of the spirit. And that's talking about the word of God. So let's see if that one floats. All of them are floating. So we've got on our protection, boys and girls. We are protected from the evil one, from Satan. As long as we keep that on, we are protected. But you know, sometimes we get really, really busy and we say, oh, I've got a lot of homework to do. And pretty soon, part of our armor starts to chip away. Or we might say, oh, well, you know, I, I have a basketball game. I don't have time to study the word of God. And again, that armor is chipping away. Or I want to go outside and play basketball. And then we don't have time for that armor. And again, the armor begins to chip away. Or we might say, well, I'm just really, really sleepy right now. I, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. And again, the armor is chipping away. Or we might say, I want to go to the mall with my friends and play video games. So what happens? More of the armor chips away. Or we might say, well, you know, I have a trip that's coming up in a week and I need to get all of my stuff packed. So I don't have time to study God's word and put on his armor. Or we might say, well, you know, I've been putting off going to see my friend for a long, long time. I think I'll go and there's nothing wrong with seeing your friends, but priorities mean you put the most important things first. And before you know it, you've become so busy that what has happened, boys and girls? All of the armor is gone. It has chipped away. Now, do you think it's going to be as strong as the other oranges that kept their armor on? Well, let's see. Whoa. What happened? What happened to the orange with no armor? It sank to the bottom, boys and girls. And I hope that this will remind you that we've got to keep our armor on. And the way that we can do it is we can make sure that we are studying our Sabbath school lesson, studying our Bible, listening, listening to religious music, 
listening to God's word from the pastor on Sabbath, doing all we can to stay close to God. Praying to God is very, very important as well. Getting out in nature and seeing his handiwork. These are ways that we can put on our armor every day so that we will stay afloat like these other guys and we won't sink in despair. So boys and girls, I hope you'll stay tuned for the rest of our program. And if you want to know more about the armor of God, look at Ephesians chapter 6, starting with verse 11. God bless you, and I'll see you in a few minutes.